Hello, and welcome to a U-Frame tutorial where we're going to build Angry Flappers, which is a knockoff of Flappy Bird. And hopefully this will give you some insight in not only how to use U-Frame, but kind of the uh, mindset uh, behind the workflow. So just to show you what we're going to create, and this project is included in the U-Frame package. But we're going to start from scratch just to give you an idea. And I am absolutely horrible at this game. And probably why it's so addicting. So the goal is to go... Yeah, I can't ever get it very far. But anyways, uh, so let's build this game. Okay, so just to let you know, uh, this folder here, Angry Flappers, uh, I'm using a starting point. Uh, which you'll be able to download right below this video. It simply includes uh, some of the basic assets and I've imported them as 2D sprites and this will give you something to work off of. Alright, so I've already got a diagram here called Angry Flappers. If you're new and you don't know how to do this, just right click after creating a empty folder in your root directory. Uh, go to U-Frame and New Element Diagram. Rename it to Angry Flappers. All right, so let's get started. I'm just going to add a new scene manager. F2 to rename, and let's call this Angry Flappers Manager. And I spelled that wrong. Manager, there we go. And I'm going to add a new subsystem. We're gonna call this game. This is going to house all of our game elements for the Angry Flappers game. And every element inside of this subsystem, we want our scene manager to boot them. All right, so I'm going to create a new element inside of my game subsystem. And I'm gonna call this Angry Flappers game. Now this is going to be our root element. I'm going to go ahead and add a bird element and a pipe element. And our game has one bird. I'm going to control drag that over to bird. And our game has many pipes. All right, so now that we have the relationships set up, I'm just gonna collapse these and we'll go into more detail and focus on those later. So when I collapse everything, it gives me just a good view of all the relationships. So now when I wanna focus on a specific element and develop it out, I can just double click on it. So in this case, we're gonna focus directly on the Angry Flappers game first. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. All right, so now we want to create a view for this Angry Flappers game. And we'll take the default name and figure it out on its own. And I'm going to add a enum. This is going to be our game, our game state enum. So let's call this Angry Flappers game state. And let's add a property called state and let's wire it up to that enum. And let's add a couple states for our flappers game. One state would be the menu, one would be for playing. And one would be for game over. And we need some commands to actually set these states. So let's do game over. And also let's add another one for play game. We'll just call it play. And we already know a few other properties that our game's gonna have. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and define those here. We know that it's going to have a score. And I'm going to define a couple other properties that I just want to be defined in the game. Call one of them called gravity. This is the gravity that our bird will use. We're going to have pipe spawn speed. And we're going to have scroll speed. How fast the background scrolls. Okay, so the score is going to be an integer. And the rest of these are going to be floats. So I'm going to go ahead and add another view here as well for the ground. So I'm just going to call this ground view. And it'll also use the data from Angry Flappers game. All right, so let's go ahead and save and compile this. We're going to start, go ahead and link this Angry Flappers game up into our scene. All right, now we need to actually create this scene. So I'm going to go all the way back out here and go to my scene manager where we created initially. I'm going to right click on it and go to create scene. Navigate to my Angry Flappers folder and then the scenes folder. Let's call it Angry Flappers. All right, so if we take a look at what this has done, it's added the UFrame Game Manager and the Scene Manager. In our Game Manager, it set our Start Scene Manager to this game object. This just tells the Game Manager what Scene Manager to load whenever the scene boots up. This Scene Manager will take care of setting up all of my elements for me and all of the pieces of the elements that need to be initialized so that all of my views can work accordingly. So let's go ahead and add our view into the scene. Let's start with our Angry Flappers game view. Right click on it, go to Add to Scene. And now we've got our Angry Flappers game view in the scene. 